seeing your son in such a dangerous position. Obviously, any parent would you know, fight to protect their kid at all costs. Defending Jacob tells the story of a prosecutor whose 14-year-old son is charged with the murder of a classmate. We have some bad news. The print we lifted from the victim's sweatshirt is from your son. Wait, what? It's, it's tricky when you're trying to create a miniseries because you want to make sure each episode has a strong engine and a purpose. There's got to be an explanation. I didn't do it, I swear. We begin to see this family tested. Um, she begins to question everything. Do you have any doubts about Jacob's innocence? No, of course not. It's all about the family, how they experience it. The foundation is rocked. There's a lot of trust issues, a lot of guilt. It kind of opens all those doors. Is there a part of you thinks he might have done it? How well can you ever know anyone? And I think the show forces us to think about those boundaries that exist for the people we love. Once you open Pandora's box, it's those scary corners you don't want to explore. The twists and turns of the thriller are fantastic, but it's this crisis of parenting that makes it unique. What are you willing to do as a family? How well do we know our children? How far are we willing to go? The interesting thing about this show is that it's not shot as a TV show. It's shot like an eight-hour movie. I know you think you know Jacob, but you don't. Did he do this? There's a cliffhanger for every episode. I can't find a move. It's because you don't have one. Jacob, how's he doing? Whoa, whoa! You think this is a joke? I can't play this game anymore. Did you do it? sailing towards an iceberg. This little white peak in the distance getting closer and closer, but really it's been underneath us the whole time. It's nothing worse than a kid. We have some bad news on the case. The print we lifted from the victim is from your son. There's gotta be an explanation. They go to the same school Jacob's in his class. Yes, we know that. Lynn, have you arrested my son? Before we begin, I want to make something clear. A kid your age charged with first-degree murder <laughs> is tried as an adult. I swear, I didn't do it. We believe you. You have admitted to being in the park, and a fellow student alleges you had a knife you would bring to school. I guess so. They're saying he looks smug and remorseless. This is going to follow him around for the rest of his life. It's a mistake. We're going to figure it out. Do you have any doubts about Jacob's innocence? No, of course not. Where is the knife now? So you've been lying to me. I did what any parent would have done. He can't leave his fate up to the courtroom. My only job now is trying to protect our son. We're prisoners in our own home. Acting like we're normal. We are normal. Oh my God, do you think this is normal? We gotta get answers for ourselves. I know what you did! Lawyers have boundaries. I don't. Not anymore. Remember that in their eyes, it isn't just Jacob who's guilty. You all are. Did you follow me here? This is damaging. This is evidence. You're scaring him. Good. He should be scared. I'm scared. So I have to know. I want the truth. You can be a good man, or you can be a good father. There was no normal to go back to. It was just before.